welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a Java project which is entitled as sensitive label privacy preservation with anonymization for data publishing which is an IEEE 2021 paper before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about the project so basically in this paper we are going to protect the sensitivity of the data that has been published in the web or internet so in any kind of data there will be some sensitive information for example in patient details you can have the details of the patient name with the disease or in case if it is an employee details there will be a details of the employee name salary their address details so publishing these details in internet or web gives a privacy threat to the users so for that purpose the concept of privacy preservation of sensitive label is already been available so for that purpose in the existing system there are many kinds of technique where the authors uh, specifically mentioned that uh, existing like generalization and suppression but the problem is like they suffer from large information losses so when the computation is made there are some losses of the data been occurred in the existing system so for that purpose the authors have proposed a new technique called SLPPA so SLPPA means sensitive label privacy preservation with anonymization that is SLPPA so in this SLPPA there is main two procedures that is table division and group division so in this model the table division group division the SLPPA is being implemented so here for the data set here you can see the data set with the financial transaction details which consists of the name gender job age zip code and salary so we have also uh, created a data set so which consists of around 10,000 data set records and we have split that in a three categories in a three uh, three files the same data set is a three files because uh, to show you some different outputs so in case if you are using the same data set you will be getting the same output so for the purpose of showing different output scenarios so we have uh, created this so which consists of around 3000 3000 and 4000 record in these data sets and now let us see the execution of the project before that kindly note that we cannot implement exactly all the algorithms as mentioned in the base paper as it is in a research based project so we will we'll, we'll be implementing only the main objective with the concept that is mentioned in the paper so we have developed this project using java using netbeans ide 8.2 so open netbeans ide 8.2 and go to file menu and click open project now go to the source code location and select this and click open project and now kindly wait till the complete project is loaded in the NetBeans and this progress board will be completed so meanwhile we'll just attach the database in the MySQL so just go to MySQL administrator and go to restore option and click open backup file and go to the project folder and select the database and click restart restore Now the restoration operation was finished successfully and click close and now close this MySQL administrator and coming back to the NetBeans ID now you can see the project is completely loaded now just right click it and select run and now kindly wait till the project is loaded into the browser pattern.
and now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title sensitive label privacy preservation with anonymization for data publishing and you can see the abstract that is mentioned in the base paper and here you can see the publisher option so just go to the publisher menu and in the publisher login you need to enter the static username and password as admin and admin and click login and once the login is successful and click ok and here you can see the welcome screen for the publisher and here you can see the details of date upload data set the original data set and sa table qi table qi table one graph and logout so now let us see those details how the data is being transferred using this slppa technique and regarding this sa table qi tables you can just refer the base paper in the page number three where you can see the uh, details of uh, the table that is EI table, QI table and SA table. So basically you, EI is the name of the unique identity of the original individual but this EI should be deleted in the second format when the data is transferred to the QI. So in the QI you can see the details like gender, job, age, zip code and SA is about the salary part. So here let us see how it has been implemented. So first let me go to upload data set. So let first select the data set. So in case if the data set already been uploaded, if you are doing it first time you can do it or in case if you already uploaded, so you need to delete, you can delete the data set that will be here validated. So for example, if you are already uploaded data set, it will be saying that it all data set is already uploaded. So first go to the project source code location and go to the data set let me first go to the first employee one part and click upload and if the data set is already uploaded it shows that already data set is uploaded and click ok so first thing is like you wanted to delete the existing data set so you click delete so the data set is deleted and click ok now let me upload it so select the data set employee one and click upload and now you can see the data set is uploaded click ok and first let us see the original data set so click original data set so in the original data set you can see the original data set with the employee id age employer type zip code education occupation gender country and salary so you can just scroll down till the end of the page so the complete data set will be previewed here So in the first data set that we have uploaded which comes of 3000 data set records. Now let me go to the first part that is SA table. So in the SA table you can see the data has been transferred according to the SLPPA algorithm. So you can see with the GID salary and the count of it. So as mentioned, the, it has been converted as the tables and groups. Now let us go to the QI table. So in the QI table, you can see the three tables that is QI table one, two and three. So which consists of age, gender and the job type. So here in the QI table one, you can see with the uh, age and count of it. And next is like about gender and it is male or female so it will be two and others like the job type. So next in the QI table one you can see the QI table four and five which consists of the country and education and the employer type. So you can see the details of like the country which has been grouped and education. and the employer type and now as I said uh, that it is not a static one it is a dynamic one so let me show you the differentiate by uploading the different data set now so let me delete the existing data set now let me select the other data set employee 2 and upload it and once the data set is uploaded again you can go to original data set and you can check so here you can see the data will be a different types so you can scroll down till the end of the page to preview it.
and now let us go to the uh, implementation part now in the essay table you can see here in the earlier you can see that the count was different and here the count was different because it will be varied according to the data set that we upload so the transformation will be made according to the SS SLPPA type of data publishing model only so in QI table again you can see the different groups and tables the QI table 1 QI table 2 and QI table 3 now you can see QI table 4 and 5 with the country education and the employer type and you can see the results will be varied according to the data set that we upload again let me show you with the some different data set so let me delete the existing data set now let me upload the the final data set and click upload and the data set is uploaded and now let me go to the original data set and in the original data set again you can see with the different data set records here and here the data set records is around 4000 and now let me go to essay table so in the essay table again you can see the data set with the different transformations made according to the data set that we have uploaded you can compare the results and in QI table again with the age, gender and job type again in QI table 4, 5 and 6 you can see with the country, education and the employer type and final is the graph part so the graph part will be shown according to the data, type, data set that we have uploaded accordingly the data set that we have uploaded it will be showing the employer type with the first graph which consists of the different types of employer that is private local federal without base state government self employment self employment inc and next next graph you can see about the employee education type which consists of the sub different types of educations that is like doctorate masters of a school some college 10th 11th 12th so these details it has been split ac according to the data set that we have uploaded and it also varies according to the data set that we are uploading and this is all about the project sensitive label privacy preservation with anonymization for data publishing and thank you for watching